Lament of Mary, Queen of Scots, now nature hangs her mantle green on every blooming tree, and spreads her sheets o' daisies, wade out o'er the grassy lea. Now Philbos cheers the crystal streams, and glads the azure skies, but not can glad the weary white that fast endurance lies. Now Laverocks wake the merry morn aloft on dewy wing, the merle, in his noontide bore, makes woodland echoes ring, the mevis wild why money a note, sings drowsy day to rest, in love and freedom they rejoice, why care nor thrall operas. Now blooms the lily by the bank, the primrose down the bray, the hawthorns budding in the glen, and milk white is the sleigh. The meanest hind in fair Scotland may rove their sweets amang, but I, the queen of a Scotland, mon lie in prison strang. I was the queen o' bony France, where happy I hae been, for lightly raise I in the morn, as blithe lay down it in. And I'm the sovereign of Scotland, and many a traitor there, yet here I lie in foreign bands, and never end in care. But as for thee, thou false woman, my sister and my fay, grim vengeance yet shall wet a sword that throw thy soul shall gay. The weeping blood in woman's breast was never known to thee, nor th balm that draps on wounds of woe, fray woman's pitying eh. My son, my son, may kinder stars upon thy fortune shine, and may those pleasures gild thy reign, that ne'er wot blink on mine. God keep thee fray thy mother's face, or turn their hearts to thee, and where thou meet'st thy mother's friend, remember him for me. Oh, soon, to me, may summer sun's name ere light up the morn, Name ere to me the autumn winds wave o'er the yellow corn, and, in the narrow house of death, let winter round me rave, and the next floors that deck the spring, bloom on my peaceful grave. Song there'll never be peace till Jamie comes hame by yon castle wa. At the close of the day, I heard a man sing, though his head it was grey. And as he was singing, the tears doon came there'll never be peace till Jamie comes hame. The church is in ruins, the state is in jars, delusions, oppressions, and murderous wars, we dare not will sate, but we can was to blame, there'll never be peace till Jamie comes hame. My seven bra sons for Jamie drew sword, but now I greet round their green beds in the yard. It brack the sweet heart o' my faithful and dame, there'll never be peace till Jamie comes hame. Now life is a burden that bows me down, sin I tint my bairns, and he tint his crown. But till my last moments, my words are the same, there'll never be peace till Jamie comes hame. Sung out over the fourth out over the fourth, I look to the north, but what is the north and its highlands to me? The south nor the east geese to my breast, the far foreign land, or the white rolling sea. But I look to the west, when I gae to rest, that happy my dreams and my slumbers may be. For far in the west lives he I low best, the man that is dear to my baby and me. Song, The Banks o' Dune, First Version, Sweet are the banks, the banks o' Dune, the spreading flowers are fair, and everything is blithe and glad, but I am fu o' care. Thou'll break my heart, thou bony bird, that sings upon the bough, thou minds me o' the happy days when my far's lube was true. Thou'll break my heart, thou bony bird, that sings beside thy mate, for say I sat, and say I sang, and wist now o' my fate. Aft hay I rovid by bony dune, to see the woodbine twine, and ilka bird sang o' its luve, and say did I o' mine. Why light some hard I put a rose, upon its thorny tree, but my fa's louver stole my rose, and left the thorn why me. Why light some hard I put a rose, upon a morn in June, and say I flourished on the morn, and say it was pooder noon. Song, the banks o' dune, second version, ye flowery banks o' bony dune, how can ye bloom say fair? How can ye chant, ye little birds, and I say fu o' care? Thou'll break my heart, thou bony bird, that sings upon the bough. Thou minds me o' the happy days when my fa's louve was true. Thou'll break my heart, thou bony bird, that sings beside thy mate, for say I sat, and say I sang, and wist now o' my fate. Aft hay I rovid by bony dune, to see the woodbine twine, and ilka bird sang o' its louve, and say did I o' mine. Why light some heart I put a rose, upon its thorny tree, but my fa's louver saw my rose, and left the thorn why me. Why light some heart I put a rose, upon a morn in June, and say I flourished on the morn, and say it was pooder noon. Song, The Banks o' Dune, Third Version, Ye banks and braes o' bony dune, how can ye bloom say fresh and fair? How can ye chant, ye little birds, and I say weary fu o' care? Thou'll break my heart, thou warbling bird, that wantons throw the flowering thorn, thou minds me o' departed joys, departed never to return. Aft hay I rovid by bony dune, to see the rose and woodbine twine. An ilka bird sang o' its louve, and fondly say did I o' mine, why light some heart I put a rose, foo sweet upon its thorny tree. And may fa's louver stall my rose, but ah, he left the thorn why me. O men for James, Earl of Glencare no wind blew hollow fray the hills, by fits the sun's departing beam licked on the fading yellow woods, that wove it o'er Luger's winding stream, beneath the craigy steep, a bard, lot and with years and Michael Payne, and loud lament the wail at his lord, and death had all untimely tent. He leaned him to an ancient ache, his trunk was mouldering down with years, his locks were bleached white with time, his hoary cheek was wet white tears. And as he touched his trembling harp, and as he tunned his doleful sang, the winds, lamenting throw their caves, to echo bore the notes alang. He scattered birds that faintly sing, the reliques of the vernal quair, you woods that shed on a the winds the honors of the aged year. A few short months, and glad and gay, again you'll charm the year and air, but not in all revolving time can gladness bring again to me. 
I am a bending age tree that long has stood the wind and rain, but now has come a cruel blast, and my last halt of earth is gain. Nay leaf o' mine shall greet the spring, nay simmer sun exalt my bloom, but I'm one light before the storm, and either's plant them in my room. I've seen say many change for years, on earth I am a stranger grown. I wander in the ways of men, alike unknowing and unknown. Unheard, unpitied, unrelieved, I bear lay my late o care, for silent, lo, on beds of dust, lie a, that would my sorrows share. And last, the sum of a my griefs. My noble master lies in clay, the floor among our barons bold, his country's pride, his country's stay, in weary being now I pine, for a the life of life is dead, and hope has left me age ken, on forward wing forever fled. Awake thy last sad voice, my heart, the voice of woe and wild despair. Awake, resound thy latest lay, then sleep in silence evermore. And thou, my last, best, only, friend, that fillest an untimely tomb, accept this tribute from the bard thou brought from fortune's murkous gloom. And poverty's low barren veil, thick mists obscure involved me round, though oft I turned the wistful eye, ne'er a of fame was to be found. Thou found'st me, like the morning sun that melts the fogs in limpid air, the friendless bard and rustic song became like thy fostering care. Oh, why has worth so short a date, while villains ripen grey with time? Must thou, the noble, generous, great, fallen bold manhood's hardy prim, why did I live to see that day a day to me so full of woe? Oh, had I met the mortal shaft that laid my benefactor low. The bridegroom may forget the bride was made his wedded wife yestreen, the monarch may forget the crown that on his head an hour has been, the mother may forget the child that smiles say sweetly on her knee, but I'll remember thee, Glencairn, and a that thou hast done for me. Lines to Sir John Whiteford, Bart with the lament on the death of the Earl of Glencairn thou, who thy honour as thy god traversed, who, save thy mind's reproach, not earthly fierce, to thee, this vote of offering I impart, the tearful tribute of a broken heart. The friend thou valuedst, I, the patron loved, his worth, his honour, all the world approved. We'll mourn till we too go as he has gone, and tread the shadowy path to that dark world unknown. Song, Craigieburn Wood sweet closes the evening on Craigieburn Wood, and blithely awakens the morrow. But the pride of the spring in the Craigieburn Wood can yield to me nothing but sorrow. Course. Beyond thee, dearie, beyond thee, dearie, and oh to be lying beyond thee. Oh sweetly, soundly, we'll may he sleep that's laid in the bed beyond thee. I see the spreading leaves and flowers, I hear the wild birds singing. The pleasure they hay name for me, will care my heart is ringing. Beyond thee, and see. I cannot tell, I will not tell, I dare not for your anger. But secret love will break my heart, if I conceal it langer. Beyond thee, and see I see thee Grisefu, straight and tall, I see thee sweet and bony, but oh, what will my torment be, if thou refuse thy joni? Beyond thee, and see, to see thee in another's arms, and love to lie and languish, to what be my dead, that will be seen, my heart what burst why anguish? Beyond thee, and see, but genie, say thou will be mine, say thou lies name before me, and a may days o' life to come, I'll gratefully adore thee, beyond thee, and see. Song the bony wee thing course. Bony wee thing, canny wee thing, lovely wee thing, wert thou mine, I wot worthy in my bosom, lest my jewel is should tine. Wishfully I look and languish in that bony face o' thine, and my heart it stands why anguish, lest my wee thing be not mine. Bony wee thing, and see wit, and grace, and love, and beauty, in a consolation shine, to adore thee is my duty, goddess o' this so low mine. Bony wee thing, and see epigram on Miss Davies on being asked why she had been formed so little, and Mrs. A so big. Asked why God made the gem so small. And why so huge the granite. Because God meant mankind should set that higher value on it. Song the charms of lovely Davies to Miss Smear. Oh how shall I, unskilfu, try the poet's occupation. The tenefu powers, in happy hours, that whisper inspiration. Even the mundaren effort mare than aught they ever gave us. You were there hearse, in equal verse, the charms of lovely Davies. The chai cheers when she appears, like Phobos in the morning, when past the shower, and every flower the garden is adorning, as the wretch looks o'er Siberia's shore, when winter bound the wave is, say droops our heart, when we mon part fray charming lovely Davies. Their smiles a gift fray boon the lift, that max us mare than princes, a sceptred hand, a king's command, is in her darting glances, the man in arms gains female charms, even he her willing slave is, he hugs his chain, and owns the reign of conquering, lovely Davies. My muse, to dream of such a theme, her feeble powers surrender, the eagle's gaze alone surveys the sun's meridian splendor. I what in vain essay the strain, the deed too daring brave is, I'll drop the lyre, and you'd admire the charms o' lovely Davies. Song, what can a young lassie do why an old man? What can a young lassie, what shall a young lassie, what can a young lassie do why an old man? That luck on the penny, the tempted my minnie to sell her pure jenny for siller and lan. That luck on the penny, the tempted my minnie to sell her pure jenny for siller and lan. He's always complainin' fray mornin' to ending, he hosts and he herpels the weary day lang. He's doiled and he's dozin', his bluted is frozen, oh dreary's the night why crazy old man. He's doiled and he's dozin', his bluted is frozen, oh dreary's the night why crazy old man.
He hums and he hankers. He frets and he cankers. I never can please him do a that I can. He's peevish and jealous so a the young fellows o do on the day I met why an old man. He's peevish and jealous so a the young fellows o do on the day I met why an old man. My old auntie Katie upon me tax pity. I'll do my endeavor to follow her plan. I'll cross him and rack him, until I heartbreak him, and then his old brass will buy me a new pan. I'll cross him and rack him, until I heartbreak him, and then his old brass will buy me a new pan. Sung the posy o luv will venture and where dar not will be seen, o luv will venture and where wisdom ants has been. But I will down yon river rove, among the woods say green, and a to prove posy to my ain dear may. The primrose I will prove, the firstling o the year, and I will prove the pink, the emblem o my dear, for she's the pink o womankind, and blooms without a peer, and a to be a posy to my ain dear may. I'll prove the budding rose, when Phobos peeps in view, for it's like a balmy kiss o her sweet, bony moo. The hyacinths for constancy why it's unchanging blue, and a to be a posy to my ain dear may. The lily it is pure, and the lily it is fair, and in her lovely bosom I'll place the lily there. The daisies for simplicity and unaffected air, and a to be a posy to my ain dear may. The hawthorn I will prove, why is luxo silla grey, where, like an aged man, it stands at break o day. But the songster's nest within the bush I win attack away and a to be a posy to my ain dear may. The woodbine I will prove, when the ending star is near, and the diamond drops o do shall be her ain say clear. The violets for modesty, which will she fods to wear, and a to be a posy to my ain dear may. I'll tie the posy round wide the silken band o louvre, and I'll place it in her breast, and I'll swear by a above, that to my latest draft o life, the band shall ne'er remove, and this will be a posy to my ain dear may.